everyone. I have my cup of coffee, but since I'm on winter break right now, it may or may not have Irish cream in it. It totally does. We got a new coffee maker. It's a Dolce Gusto and it's amazing. And I love it so much. And its name is Gianna. I have to name everything and it's, I love it. It's so cool. It was like the best 59 euro I ever spent. Um, so today I thought, welcome. Hi, welcome. Hey there. Hi there. Hello there. Um, I am barefaced. I kind of just woke up. I think I've been up for half an hour. Um, so I kind of thought that I would do get ready with me and play this tag game that I saw Teresa is dead do. I love you. She's my favorite. I think we should be friends. Um, one of my favorites. Um, Part-time YouTube gamer tag where I'm just gonna get ready and um, I'm gonna do a light today because I don't really think we're doing much of anything, but I need to like, since we're on break, I need to use this mess and, you know, play and part-time, you know, my part-time gig is still my hobby. I want to do it. I don't want to sit on the couch for two weeks and drink Irish cream. Fuck, that's good. So um, let's get started. Yeah, I have to plug in my, my lighted mirror every time because I have no space. In case you guys didn't know, um, we are basically living in a long-term Airbnb right now. That's kind of where we landed. So let's get started. So um, I finished my I'm officially blind. I finished my um, Origins eye cream. So I had this little guy from Ofra. It's an eye firming gel. Can you see that? There it is. Um, I'm just using it. I don't know. I started using it yesterday. Um, I don't know if it played very well with my with my uh, foundation yesterday. Yesterday was our anniversary, and we went to Mexican food. In Spain, it was so weird because it was like Inception, you know, because it was like so super familiar, but like, you know, in Spain, you know, it was just, it was weird, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Anyways, um, question number one is what is my main gig? Do I work full time? Am I a student, a parent? Spill the beans. So um, my main gig is I'm a teacher. Um, I teach high school. Well, I guess I don't teach high school right now. Um, I'm an English teacher. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in English, a teaching credential from California to teach English, and a master's degree to teach English. Um, so I'm an English teacher. And um, the reason I'm over here right now is to... Um, basically, I'm a, I'm a language assistant. So I go, I'm, I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher's aide. Um, I go into classes. I'm gonna use this Bobby Brown face base because I don't think I'm gonna put on a base today um, just because I just don't, I just don't want to. Um, but I really like this bougie shit. Um, so during the day I go in and I kind of like give presentations about like American culture and or help the teacher of record um, with the class, like, you know, pronunciation and like, oh yeah, well, in the, you know, in the United States, we say it like that. And in England, you say it like that and blah, 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 that kind of thing. Oh, I forgot to put on my, this. I'm all out of order today. Hmm. Um, I put away my Alomar cosmetics, eye primer because just sometimes it creases on me. I don't know, man. Maybe my eyelids are being wonky. I don't want to blame it on it because sometimes it's great and sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, but this is the Concrete Minerals Electric Eye Primer. Concrete Minerals is the shit. Um, you should definitely give them a try. I don't really see people talking about them, but they do loose pigments and stuff. And uh, they're awesome. I really like them. Um, so during the day, that's what I do. And then at night, um, lately I've been subbing online 
for American schools. Um, but starting in January, I picked up a full load teaching sixth and seventh grade English. <laughs> so I guess I'm a middle school teacher, but it's not that bad. It's, it's actually a pretty ideal because A, I sit literally exactly where I'm sitting right now. Um, and it, it's what I've been doing. I've been teaching online since 2013. So um, I don't have any kids. I have the animals, um, but I don't have any kids. So that's, that's a thing. Um, that's what I do, my main gig. Um, what made me want to start YouTube? Um, you know, I started watching, I always made fun of my nephew for like being obsessed with watching YouTube. And then I was like, hmm. and then I think Robert Welsh popped up on my Facebook. It was either Robert Welsh or Bailey Sarian or both of them popped up on my YouTube or on, not on my YouTube, on my Facebook. And I was like, what's this? I've always been into makeup. Like I've always had, I, I've never had this, like this is excessive, but I've always had like a makeup collection, right? I've always been into it. I've always been interested in the process, but I started watching them. And then I started like clicking on other people. And then I got involved in makeup groups on Facebook. And then I was like, wait, I'm funny. I could do, hmm, could I do this? And then like, we started, you know, like the move, you know, the move was a thing. And then I was like, you know, if I still want to do it after we move, then I'm going to do it. And we got here and I was like, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And we moved, we got here September, got here September 1st, roughly. August 30th, something like that, September 1st. And I started my channel on October 1st and it is December 22nd. So I'm still a noob, I'm still a little baby, but um, I'm here and um, I like it. Um, what is my channel about? Do you stick to one niche or do you cover a few? Um, I, it's two, two things. Um, the first one is, is makeup, which speaking of, let's get back to it. I reorganized my shit yesterday because I got all these new baskets from Teddy. Like, I came up at Teddy yesterday. Um, so excuse me for the reach. <sighs> so I'm going to use my Naked Cherry Palette. This is my, the palette that I've been concentrating on this month um, for the Nightmare Pan. Um, I also have some other ones I've been concentrating on, but this is the one that I've been like, this is my big, this is my big project. I My goal for this one is to use six shades, six times. And um, I'm doing pretty well on two, <laughs> two shades, which I'll use. Um, uh, yeah, I'm one, two, three, four, five, six. So I will do my best to use each of these shades today. Um, just to, I, I'm gonna meet these fun goals. It's the 22nd, I gotta do my makeup every day. Not every day, but most days. Um, so let's do this. Hmm. You know, these brushes that come, ugh, I, gotta, I really gotta clean my brushes. I also gotta dye my hair. Um, the brushes that come with this is trash. However, this, can you see, am I getting it? Mirrors in the way. This guy doesn't look too horrible. So I might use that and see if it's not terrible. Anyways, what was the question? Um, my channel. Okay. So obviously it's, I like makeup. Okay. So it's a makeup channel. All right. Ooh, right. Big fucking surprise. Um, I'm going to set this base with this caution color. Where's my, I'm forever losing the Sharpie that I use to keep track. Um, so yeah. Okay. I'm the makeup channel. I am by no means a professional. Like I, I am not, I would love to, I would love to go to makeup school, but like, I don't want to touch people. People are gross. So power, more power to you if you are a makeup artist and you can like touch people because I, I just, no. Um, no. Mm -mm. But I'm also, I guess, a bit of a travel channel, I guess. Um, I'm a bit of a travel channel because I do my little tours and, you know, like this is Spain and you know, this is what it's like living here, an expat channel and, you know, that kind of stuff. But I'm also, um, oh, that's nice. yeah, I like this palette. Um, 
I'm also, you know, like a self-esteem channel, you know, I'm 40 and I wasn't always like this. I used to have really low self-esteem and um, it kind of breaks my heart when I see women posting heavily edited photos of themselves and they're, you know, I'm just like, you know, like stop blurring your skin, just stop, you know, stop. And the reason I want people to stop doing that is because like, when I was 15, I, I wouldn't have been able, I wouldn't have been able to live in today's society if I were, if I were a kid now, like if I were a teenager, cause I, I don't know, I say that, but like, it was all, it also is way more acceptable to be a big girl. I'm a size 18. I got a big ass. Um, but you know, I graduated high school in 1999 when it was, you know, Kate Moss. Um, still pretty good. So I want people to just embrace their imperfections because perfection doesn't exist. Thank you. Um, James Welsh. I always get the two. I think I said James at the beginning of this video and it was Robert Welsh, Welsh twins, but it's James Welsh who is, you know, the perfection doesn't exist. It's all about, you know, the process and, you know, improving because and you always just there's no if you hit the if you hit what you think is perfection like where do you go from there um so I'm big on that like on my Instagram channel I my Instagram channel my Instagram page I do not edit my photos like I don't do it like if I'm taking a picture of my eye look and my eyebrows are eh, I'll post it if my eyeshadow is creasing, I'll post it because that's real life. And I think at the core and the heart of my channel here on YouTube, like I, that's what I want to be. So I am a makeup channel and I guess I'm a bit of a travel expat channel, but I think the underlying current is I am a reality channel in that, you know, life is not perfect and perfection doesn't exist. And like, you know, if you feel the need, oh, I need to mark this off. Oh, let me go. I keep, keep track. If you feel the need, you feel the need to edit your photos. You know, I'm not gonna, I say I'm not gonna judge you, but I am gonna judge you, but I'm not gonna judge you like negatively. I'm gonna wish that you, didn't need to feel like that because it's not your fault. It's fucking society's fault telling you that you need to be perfect and nobody's perfect. Nobody's fucking perfect. Let me tell you, you look at all these pictures out there of these Instagram models and ain't nobody fucking perfect. Nobody. Like sometimes I look at these looks and I'm like, how are they doing that? And then like, I realize, oh, it's because they're, they're editing their fucking pictures. It's not like that. So you can guarantee, and sometimes I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll edit this just to see what it looks like. But nope, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, not doing it. Because I know that shit's addictive. Like, ooh, look at how nice I look. Maybe I'll just do it this one time. No, no, I did edit my pictures for my wedding because I had terrible wedding pictures. Um, the photographer that we hired totally fucked up everything for our wedding reception. And just like, she did the exact opposite of what I asked for. So I did have my friend like go in, like I asked her to take pictures. So my fucking jowls wouldn't show and she took everything. And I just, eh. yeah, my fucking wedding pictures, you know, but those are also private for the most part. You know, I put some online. Um, so, but anything I put on the internet, like it's not edited. Yeah, I like, I, crop but that's not editing um did you always know that youtube would be a side gig or do i ever want to be a full-time youtuber right now it's a hobby i am not making any money off of this obviously with my 52 subscribers um but i just started things are in the works right now um i think it's too early to answer that i don't know you know i don't know i don't know i don't know 
I, I, when I watched Teresa is dead's answers to these, she was so fucking smart about the way she answered these questions. She was like, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. So she's not getting rid of her day job. She, she said that like, you know, one day I could be loved and the next day I could say something wrong and you all could hate me and it could be gone. And I think that's such a smart way of looking at things. Um, so smart. However, um, I would maybe one day, sorry, I'm deciding what I want to do here. I, I, I don't want to be in education forever. Like I'm good at it, but I don't want to do it forever. Like, let's be honest. Like I, I, I don't want to do it forever. So maybe I would like to parlay you know, what I'm doing here right now. And I think I'm on the right track, like to all 12 of you who watch, who watch this, let me know. Um, <laughs> I think I'm on the right track, um, but I would like to eventually work for a makeup company, but I would like to do copy writing um, and write copy. I think I'd be really good at it. Um, hold on, I'm deciding what I wanna do here. When I started this, it was like, I'm going to learn a new hobby. Like when I started this in October, I had no idea how to edit a video. I literally taught myself how to do this from scratch. Like I went to YouTube and I was like, how do I edit a video? Like I asked my friends on Facebook, like, Hey, you know, creative types what's the best editing so video editing software? Because I have a couple of video editing friends and they were like, Adobe. I was like, okay, cool. And I literally taught myself from scratch. So would I like to do this full time? I don't know, maybe, maybe, but no, but maybe. Um, that does not look awful. Doesn't look gonna sit here and edit and hang out with my husband um the next question is what's my schedule like when do I film when do I edit um right now my schedule is pretty cool because I'm on winter break but um my schedule is crazy I work two jobs on two different time zones so in the morning I am I drive 45 minutes to my job and then I drive 45 minutes home and then I come here and then I I sit here for six, seven hours and I, I, I work, but when I was subbing, um, it wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal. Cause like sometimes like nobody would show up and I'd still have to sit here. Right. So I would, um, sorry, I'm picking a, a liner. I would edit my videos, but you know, I also have a marriage. So I can't sit up here and edit my videos all day and all night. So I just kind of do it like he's at work right now, but today's his last day of work for break. So I just kind of do it when I can. <laughs> it's the short answer. It's the short answer. Like it's like, I, I, I do it when I can, honestly. Um, you know, like I, I try to film my videos in a way where I don't have to completely chop things up. Like the new makeup nonsense bingo videos take up the most time when I edit, but like this one, I'm not gonna chop it up. What you see is what you get, babies. Um, oh, that is perfect. If you wanna see the full look here, um, just go on to Instagram. Sparkle Jezebel on Instagram. Shameless plug. Um, but yeah, my, my schedule is crazy. How do I keep my YouTube channel organized? Spreadsheets, boo, spreadsheets. Um, I have a um, Google Sheets that like, if I have an idea, I just pull it up on my phone. I'm do, 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 and then I have like, there are four basic things really that need to happen. You have to film it, you have to edit it, you have to make a, you have to make a thumbnail and you have to write a blurb for the description box. So as I do them, and you have to you have to upload. So I guess five things. So as I do them, 
like it's an X and then when it's done, it's done. And I have a notes section. So like for Vlogmas, this is like Vlogmas, I don't know, whatever it is. So, but I would put that in the notes. And as I come up with ideas, as I'm talking to people, like I will, that's not work. Um, that, that's how I keep organized. If you, Teresa said it great. If you don't have organization skills, you're not gonna succeed. If you don't have organization skills, you're not gonna succeed. And that is the honest, oh, I forgot to mark this one down. That is the honest truth of it. Um, so, you know, and I, you know, I'm, I'm doing okay. You know, things are coming down the pike. Follow copacetic cosmetics, you know, follow, follow, follow. Um, but that's how I keep things organized. Sorry. Let me deepen up this lash line real quick. This is pretty. You know, I like I I like these naked palettes. I think I want the honey one. I think I'm gonna get that at some point. I, I want the honey one. And I think I want the cool toned one. Although honestly, like I just got a color pop order in today. And they're five dollar sale. And like, like I need to stop. And it makes me happy. You know what? What do we say here? It could be crack. It could be crack. It could be shit. It could be liquor. Okay, like it could be fucking liquor. Um, liquor officer, I just met her. There's a little bit of fallout, but not a lot. Really, not much at all. Use one of these because it's dirty. Um, I am so excited to use this blush that I just got. <laughs> That's why I did this eye. Um, yeah, okay, okay. Um, anyways, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, uh, do you plan videos ahead of time? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I just film what I I plan videos ahead, but I also just film what I feel like filming. So like this morning, I woke up and I was like. Oh, flop some makeup on this face and do this like things are totally out of order on my spreadsheet so I have ideas but you know all right yes and no is the answer to that one um how do I feel about sponsored videos on YouTube have you would you ever do one fuck yeah I would do one that's all I got. I would say that's all I got to say about that, but that's not all I got to say about that. Girl, hello. I, you know what? Transparency matters. And as long as I don't really watch people that aren't transparent with their shit. Okay. Like I am pretty fucking picky when it comes to my YouTube people. Like there are some YouTubers where I'm like, you're full of shit. And there are some YouTubers where I'm like, yeah, okay. I like what you're doing. You know, like those are the ones I watch like hell yeah get spot I would love to get spot I would love to make some money off of this like honestly that's the goal is to just make some money so like or even just to like get some fucking PR so I don't have to spend my own money on this goddamn addiction that I have to makeup you know like that's the goal so you know what yeah I would love to have a couple sponsors that would be amazing I would love to get sponsored um but how I feel about them, you know, like it's not how I feel about the sponsors. It's how I feel about the people who take the sponsorships and what they do with those sponsors. Like it's all about transparency. Like, like I keep coming back to Teresa, but you know, she's, she's such a good role model. She's kind of what I want. Like she is so smart and she's kind of what I want to be as far as a YouTuber, you know, like she says it like it is. She's always like, you know, this is sponsored. They sent me this box, you know, they sent me this PR, but I'm going to tell you what I think because that's the right thing to do. And you know what? I really appreciate that about her because there are some fake ass bitches. There are a lot of fake ass bitches. I'm putting a highlight in my, my corner right now who, you know, like 
just well suck the dick of any any company who sends them free shit or money and i just i can't do i can't i can't with that shit like stop being fake i forgot to do my brows but i don't um yeah maybe i will all about habits um so fuck yeah fuck yeah i would take fuck yeah man yeah yeah man um yeah yeah totally and then finally what do i think is the biggest challenge of doing youtube part-time um finding the time for it like um, finding the time for it, like, and being, and having, like, a, and having, honestly, finding the time for it, because, like, you know, and my marriage, like, honestly, like, I, you know, it's not like I can take my computer downstairs and edit, you know, like, that's pretty all encompassing. Like I can't, you know, it's not like grading where I can take my computer downstairs and like grade and still watch TV with him. You know, like it's, I can't really, that's, it, I can't really multitask. Um, I'm using the, I'm still using this cause I'm using it till the end of December and then it's being thrown away. This is the elf brow thing. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. <laughs> this is all right. I've learned to like, I've come to an understanding with this little guy here. Um, in that it's not really for me, but it has helped me learn how to kind of work with my brows and like understand that I still need to do something with my brows, even though you know I am blessed with or cursed, depending on where I am in my cycle of brows. Um, but yeah, I think the hardest challenge is just like keeping up like today is Wednesday and I'm like, oh shit. Like my goal is to post on Tuesdays and Fridays, at least, at least, you know, not vlogmas style. Like this month, December, I just want to post as much as I can. And I understand that like the reason people post as much as they can is for ads, but like, you know, I'm trying to build something here and I want to play with the big girls even though I'm not a big girl. So I want to, you know, be a big girl. <laughs> and it's been hard because like I got sick and then my period came and I haven't had a period in fucking months because of my birth control. And then, you know, like I just work a lot. So it's, that's the biggest challenge is just balancing everything. I am going to put this shell over my cheeks. Look at this. Ah. This is the color pop. Power. I saw this when it first came out. I was like, I don't need it. I was stupid. I don't need it. But then it came up in that five dollar, five dollar um, sale. This is the fighting crime pressed powder blush. What do I care, right? I'm gonna take this. Excuse me. That tasted like Irish cream, and I want more of it. I'm just gonna, I don't know. I don't even know what to expect. Oh, it's a little powdery, but I don't really care. I don't know what to expect here, but we're gonna go in for it. Oh, not warm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it, look at that. So yeah, so that is my part-time YouTuber gamer tag questionnaire deal. This definitely needs to be tapped off a little bit because it is, oh, it's so pretty. Um, it's very pigmented, but I like it. Um, that is my part-time YouTuber tag. Um, yeah, I, you know, I really, I, I like it. I, it's a creative outlet. And I really, at the, when the time, at the time when I started it, I really needed a creative outlet. Like I really needed a creative outlet. Um, didn't have one at all. <laughs> um, and now that I'm teaching again, I do have one, but like, you know, I have to live in, oh my God, I look like I have a sunburn. 
Ooh, you gotta be careful with this. <laughs> I'm gonna post a picture, hold on. <laughs> picture, picture. Um, I'll fix it with some powder. Um, you know, you, I didn't have a creative outlet and now I kind of have a creative outlet. It's kind of caught using, you know, I'm, I'm in between this and Instagram, I'm like I'm using my makeup smarter. Like there, you know, I'm being more mindful. Like, yeah, you know, I haven't bought a lot of makeup lately. I would love to be a makeup review channel, but I just simply can't afford it. I just can't afford it. Like that's all there is to it. Like I can't afford to keep up with the new makeup. Like there's just no way I'm a fucking teacher, you know, like even in the best of times, I can't afford to keep up. Um, but I can be fun and witty and I can post shit like this and I'm smart and I can do it. I just totally did that out of order, but it's okay. Um, oh, that was the Ofra. You know, I didn't think I'd like this. I got this in a kit. This is the Ofra oil control loose powder. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I didn't put on any foundation because I just don't really want to. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't, I'm not a fan of foundation. I just don't, I don't like it. Skincare is where it's at. Um, so before mascara, I'm going to put on my monster super cheek, super shock cheek. Um, I'm kind of having a highlighter renaissance in my life right now. I'm not upset. I'm not mad at it. <gasps> Is that a pan I see? It's a pan, you guys. I hit pan. It's tiny. It's a little tiny baby pan, but it's still a pan. Um, yeah. So like it's the 2016, 2017 up in here, but um, whatever. I like it, and I do what I like. I'm 40 fucking years old. And I don't care. Look at the pan. Pans are so exciting. Um, I don't care what the fucking trends are. Like, you know, whatever. If I fucking want to wear yellow highlighter or green highlighter, I will wear yellow highlighter. I don't know if I like this eye gel, at least under my eyes for makeup. I might use it. I might give it a chance like to see if it works like at night um so all right let's give her a spritz yeah i love fucking color pop let's give her a spritz i think i could put this away now oh let's close her up boop 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 this is like the best 20 bucks i spent um, this is the stay spray. I love this stuff. I actually have a bigger bottle of it that I refilled this little bottle with because I like this spray better. It was nice. And then we'll go in with my fave. Where's my fave, babe? Here it is. Everybody knows what my favorite mascara is, although this is getting pretty pretty light. It's okay. I have a million mascaras. I think I know which one I'm going to go to next. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was gross. <clears throat> but we keep it real on this channel because I'm human and whatever. This is a Vivian Sabo Paris. If any of you want to try this, let me know and we'll work something out for me to get it to you. Cause I don't think you can get it in the States. Um, but my only beef with this mascara is that it's a little wet, so it takes a second longer to dry than I would like, but I mean, fuck, man. So let me, I'm like, oh, it's so good, but I think I'm going to get rid of some of my baby mascaras. I think that's my like plan of attack for the next couple of months. Cause like we're moving again in May to where we don't know. Um, but I don't want to move with as much makeup and you know, skincare. Like, I understand that, like, I will be moving with the makeup. I'm not getting rid of my makeup. But with the skincare, like, there's no reason for me to have this much fucking shit as far as skincare is concerned. So I think my plan of attack is to just get rid 
like use as much of the small baby bottles as possible. So uh, like small things, so like mascara, like I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get through like all the little, you know, one month uses. Cause you know, mascaras last. I mean, you could use them for longer, but like I have so many, like three months. I started this one on November 1st, December, January. So this one goes on February 1st, right? November, December, January, January. Yeah. And then I'll just kind of move through what I have. I have a lot of mascara, um, but like, so good. This is so good. I already have a backup. So good. So um, Cabaret Premier. If you want to try it, let me know. We'll work something out. So yeah, that is, oh, oh my gosh, lips. Let me put my glasses on. Um, we're very monochrome today. So let me find a monochrome. Let's see here. Let's see what we have. Oh, I know what we can use. <laughs> Mommy has a big one of these coming. And she found another little one in a bag yesterday. This is my favorite lipstick, I think, maybe ever. <sighs> Pat McGrath Executive Realness. I fucking love it, but it does bleed out a tiny bit. So I just use my Urban Decay 24 seven Glide on Lip Pencil in Ozone. Um, it's clear. It's a clear lip liner. Uh, I don't like, overly define my lips like I don't know I just again I'm all about the natural like I just I don't know I, I don't know I just do I not have any patience for it do I just not care I don't know I don't know um but that really helps it from moving honestly this shit fucking stays on and I love it, it is my favorite lipstick so let me put it on please hold So there you go. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's always fun to talk to myself and pretend like people are listening. Maybe you'll listen when I edit this. Um, anyways, thanks for hanging out. Sparkle Jezebel, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm going to go try and make my hair look halfway decent and then maybe film some more to get ahead of the game. Um, Cause I do have to like next week. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you soon.